Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Water. Question number 1. Water vapor enters the atmosphere by the processes of underscore. Option A. Freezing and evaporation. Option B. Precipitation and evaporation. Option C. Evaporation and transpiration. Option D. Condensation and transpiration. The correct answer is Option C. Evaporation and transpiration. When water is heated to its boiling point, it becomes water vapor and enters the atmosphere. Energy from the sun causes water to warm and evaporate. A large amount of the water in clouds in the atmosphere comes from water that evaporated from the ocean and eventually condensed in the upper atmosphere. Question number 2. The amount of usable water on earth is limited. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option A. True. The amount of usable water on earth is limited as not all sources of water give usable water. Water present in oceans is too salty, much of the water is frozen in form of mountainous and polar glaciers. So, only a small portion is available for use. Question number 3. Water that can be used for drinking purposes called. Option A. Distilled water. Option B. Saline water. Option C. Portable water. Option D. Demineralized water. The correct answer is. Option C. Portable water. Water that can be used for drinking purpose is called portable water. Distilled water and demineralized water does not have minerals necessary for human beings. Saline water cannot be used for drinking purpose as it contains too much of salt. Question number 4. Clouds are formed because of underscore. Option A. Evaporation of water followed by condensation. Option B. Condensation of water followed by evaporation. Option C. Evaporation of water followed by sublimation. Option D. Condensation of water followed by sublimation. The correct answer is Option A. Evaporation of water followed by condensation. Water evaporates from the surface of rivers, oceans, lakes. Warm air rises up, taking water vapor with it. As it goes up, it loses heat and the amount of water vapor air can hold decreases. This causes condensation of water and clouds are formed as bulks of suspended water droplets. These tiny water droplets appear as rain. Question number 5. Rainwater harvesting is a suitable option for recharging the groundwater level. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option A. True. Rainwater harvesting is a technique of collection and storage of rainwater for future use. The rainwater which is harvested is helpful in recharging the groundwater level. Question number 6. Which of the following constituent of air leads to the formation of fog and mist? Option A. Nitrogen gas. Option B. Oxygen gas. Option C. Water vapor. Option D. Carbon dioxide gas. The correct answer is Option C. Water vapor. The presence of water vapor in air leads to the formation of fog and mist at suitable temperature. Question number 7. The circulation of water between underscore and underscore refers to water cycle. Option A. Ocean, land. Option B. Ocean, trees. Option C. Land, trees. Option D. Soil. Trees. The correct answer is 
Option A. Ocean, land. The circulation of water between ocean and land is known as the water cycle. Most of the energy required for this process is provided by the sun. Two major phenomena play an important role in the water cycle evaporation and condensation. Question number 8. Which among the following is not a source of fresh water? Option A. Rivers. Option B. Oceans. Option C. Lakes. Option D. Seas. The correct answer is Option B. Oceans. Among the given options, rivers and lakes are sources of fresh water while seas and oceans contain saline water. Question number 9. In India, agriculture depends only on rainfall. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. No. In India many places depend on the groundwater for agriculture and due to overconsumption of groundwater, many regions are facing the severe deficiency of water for agriculture. Question number 10. Which of the following is a probable hypothesis for the origin of water on the earth? Option A. Water was formed after trees appeared on the earth. Option B. The earth was a ball of water from the beginning. Option C. Extraterrestrial origin of water on earth. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Extraterrestrial origin of water on earth. Both comets and asteroids can contain ice. By colliding with earth, they could have deposited water. As some scientists suspect, such bodies could easily have delivered oceans worth of water. Some other scientists believe that meteoroids called chondrites hit the earth and led to the origin of water. This hypothesis is called extraterrestrial origin of water. Question number 11. Excessive rain is useful and a lack of rain is good for agriculture. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. Both excessive rain and lack of rain are harmful. This is because lack of rain causes drought and the availability of water is reduced while excessive rain causes flooding which is equally disastrous. Question number 12. Seepage of rainwater is one of the major sources of groundwater. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Rainwater seeps through the soil to fill the empty spaces and cracks under the surface. This acts as a source of groundwater and seeping of rainwater is one of the major sources of groundwater. Question number 13. Which of the following is a probable hypothesis for the origin of water on the earth? Option A. Water was formed after trees appeared on the earth. Option B. The earth was a ball of water from the beginning. Option C. Extraterrestrial origin of water on earth. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Extraterrestrial origin of water on earth. Both comets and asteroids can contain ice. By colliding with earth, they could have deposited water. As some scientists suspect, such bodies could easily have delivered oceans worth of water. Some other scientists believe that meteoroids called chondrites hit the earth and led to the origin of water. This hypothesis is called extraterrestrial origin of water. Question number 14. Puddles of rainwater get dried under the sun because of phenomenon X. The formation of water droplets on the outer surface of a glass of cold water is due to phenomenon Y. Which cycle are these phenomena part of? Option A. X and Y are same phenomenon. Option B. X and Y together results in water cycle. Option C. X and Y are biological phenomena. Option D. 
X and Y are chemical phenomena. The correct answer is Option B. X and Y together results in water cycle. Drying of water under sunlight is an example of evaporation of water. This is phenomenon X. The water vapors present in air outside the surface of the cold glass of water get condensed due to cooling. The conversion of vapors into liquid is known as condensation. This is phenomenon Y. The two phenomena together results in the water cycle. Question number 15. Saline water is good for drinking and cooking. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. Saline water contains a high concentration of dissolved salts, mainly sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is famously known as table salt. It is necessary to consume small amounts of salt as part of a well-rounded diet but an excess of salt can disrupt the salt balance in our body. It causes various side effects such as an increase in blood pressure and dehydration. Hence, the direct consumption of saline water is not advised at all. A desalinization plant is used to convert saline water to fresh water which suitable for human consumption. Question number 16. Rainwater harvesting can be done. Option A. To converse rainwater for different users. Option B. To increase groundwater level. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Both A and B. Rainwater harvesting is a technique used for collecting. Storing and using rainwater. It can be done for groundwater refilling or for conserving water for day to day use. During days of heavy rainfall, excess water from rooftops can be guided via pipes to be stored in tanks or reservoirs for future use when there is less or no rain or can be made to seep through grounds to increase the underground water level. Question number 17 What is the main source of water for inland lakes? Option A snow option b sea water option c ground water option d springs the correct answer is option c ground water the inland lakes depend on rains or the water table ground water question number 18 underscore is an underground reservoir inside the rocks Option A. An aquifer. Option B. A pond. Option C. Water table. Option D. Surface water. The correct answer is. Option A. An aquifer. An aquifer is an underground layer of water bearing rocks that water can seep through. Question number 19. Drains can be used to divert rainwater off the roads and pavements. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option A. True. Drains make the rainwater flow off the roads and pavements into the open field where they can seep into the earth's surface. The rainwater from pavements can also be guided via pipes to certain storage tanks or reservoirs for landscape irrigation and other uses. Question number 20. Process through which plants release moisture into the atmosphere is called underscore. Option A. Water cycle. Option B. Water harvesting. Option C. Evaporation. Option D. Transpiration. The correct answer is Option D. Transpiration. Transpiration is the process by which moisture is carried through plants from roots to small pores on the underside of leaves, where it changes to vapor and is released to the atmosphere. It is essentially evaporation of water from plant leaves. Thank you for watching the video. 
If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.